Well, what is going on guys? Dippin' Diesel back. We are here with my 1965 Dodge D500. I picked this thing up nine days ago and so far we've made a lot of progress. I've already put out six videos on this thing, so if you guys wanna check out the full playlist, link will be in the description below and also at the end of this video, there'll be an annotation on the screen to this playlist where you can check out every single video that I've done on this truck so far. But today we're gonna to test out a method that a lot of you guys have been requesting and also one of my buddies was telling me to do because you guys wanna see me save this original paint. This original paint looks absolutely great on some spots. On other spots, it's really faded and the paint isn't the best. So we're gonna be trying out boiled linseed oil. And um, like I said, a lot of you guys have requested me to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out. I've never tried this before. I've seen YouTube videos on it and the results came out pretty good. So as you can see on my truck, some spots are really faded. I believe this door is repainted just because of the crack right here. It looks like it's been repainted, but I don't think anything else has been repainted. This probably was repainted also. But as you can see the hood, it's really faded. If I get it wet, it looks really good. It gets really shiny. And I'm hoping with that linseed oil, it'll make it look like this without going away because once this dries it looks exactly like that so it's still all faded fenders are faded the hood definitely needs some linseed oil fenders doors and the back still looks pretty good i went ahead and washed it off already just to get all the dirt off of there so i wasn't rubbing around dirt with the linseed oil but let's go ahead and try this thing out i'm gonna wait for this to dry real quick just so i don't have any water and then we'll go ahead i'll show you guys one panel in real time and then the rest of the video will be this time lapse of me applying this linseed oil. If you guys want to go pick it up, I believe it was like $8 at Lowe's. So if you guys have a truck, a car that you're trying to protect, the old paint, patina, whatever it is, you guys want to see your results. I'm not sure if I'll get results how I believe I will be, but that's why we're testing it out. So from my understanding, there's no right or wrong way to apply this thing. Um, you just get a microfiber towel, a rag, doesn't matter. Go ahead and soak your rag in the linseed oil and then go ahead and just apply it onto the truck. We'll go ahead and start soaking this rag up and then all we do is just wipe it on. So far it's looking pretty good. So there's the first panel. We got a lot of truck to do, so let's go ahead and put you guys up on a time lapse and get this truck all the way done.
Well guys, let me tell you what, this thing looks absolutely amazing. An $8 product, I think it was like $8.50 at Lowe's, so less than $10 you can bring back your old paint. You guys remember this was all faded and fenders were all faded, pretty much the whole truck was faded except for this door which looks like it was repainted before in the past. The back looked pretty good by itself but with that linseed oil this truck looks absolutely amazing now guys. Look at that. Just look at that shine. Even the roof too. That looks pretty good. But I could not be happier. This linseed oil has been sitting on this truck for about maybe an hour now. And if you can tell the difference, this is what basically what the truck looked like before, all faded. And now it looks really good. Just like that, really faded. Now it's all shiny. So this linseed oil does wonders. Got to keep this in my arsenal now. Uh, whenever this truck gets a little bit faded, just put a little bit of this on there and it will make it look glossy. But there it is guys, that's me saving my 55 year old paint job that was all faded and wasn't looking good with some boiled linseed oil. Man, I'm stoked. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but as long as, I mean, I didn't even use half of this for the whole truck. So this thing will last probably two or three times, depending on how much you put on your truck or car. Um, but for a big truck like this, single cab, this is a D500, so it's a pretty big cab. Um, didn't even use half this bottle. So I'm super impressed. I'm super happy how it turned out. Um, I won't know for a couple of days to see if it lasts or not, but I can always just add more if I need to. And yeah, there it is. Nice and shiny, looking good. So thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and do this to your vehicle if you guys wanna save your old faded paint on your classic cars or trucks or newer cars and trucks um, that have a little bit of faded paint. But the clear coat was pretty much gone on this truck and this thing made it nice and shiny once again, back to its former glory. Saving the old paint, which is the main thing. I did not wanna to have to do some paint on this. If you guys been watching the channel, we just got done painting Caleb's truck, his 1951, and I'm done with painting for at least a couple months. So this thing definitely saved my life with having to not repaint this truck just yet. We may paint it in the future. Saving this paint was the main thing, and this thing did it. This thing is awesome. Um, definitely gonna be adding this to the arsenal and um, using it again on future projects that I wanna save the original paint. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on this 1965, 55 year old Dodge D500. We've got a lot of stuff planned for this thing, so subscribe if you guys are new. If you guys wanna keep watching videos on this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a video. Smash that like button if you guys did enjoy, and stay tuned for more videos. I'm Dippin' Diesel, catch you later, peace. Yeah. Hell yeah, that looks good.